Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Title Town, some call it, a moniker that many claim, but this city lives thanks to the Alabama Crimson Tide. But this isn't any regular matchup. It's a battle of top tens, a couple of forces meeting head to head where one team will try to make a resonating statement. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. We'll kick it away first. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down for this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Find some space enough to get five to the 22. I know the passing game sells. The passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to throw, it's Milrow. He looks that one in nicely. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask him to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock, you know, trying to keep your defense fresh. Nah, bro. If you can't score points now, if you can't get first downs and go get me touchdowns, you're not going to be on the field. Really nice run there. No, listen, you know, modern-day college football, I know it's all about spread offense and throwing the football and going up tempo and scoring quickly, but... Man, you think back to Bear Bryant in Alabama, doesn't it always seem like they've always wanted to establish the run game? They have always wanted to be physical. Bear Bryant would have loved this guy in his backfield. With his physical style of running, man, he fits that just perfect. He's looking deep. And the pass is picked off. Looking for more room. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Well, we knew coming into this one, this was an offense that wanted to come out, sling it around, but the timing is going to have to be a whole lot better. This defense has athletes who can close on the ball and make plays, and you saw it right there in that interception to open this game. Looking for a physical attack from the guy. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down, it's second and six. Running back searching for a hole. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. He'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. 
I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Wide open downfield. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Texas! And what did I start for this offense? The throw game, getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The offense lining up for a first down play. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. This offense has a second down play. Wants to throw. It's Milrow looking to the big tight end. And that one is incomplete. It's the end of the first quarter. A third down play to get the quarter started. They'll try to get the first through the air. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. Well, this head coach is clearly sending a message, going for it this close to his own end zone. They're throwing for it on fourth down. And they can't connect a costly turnover on down. what coaches catch heat a lot nowadays especially on social media i expect him to catch a lot of heat fourth down long long yarded situation on your own territory and you want to go for it and you fail and you're surprised you definitely shouldn't be surprised just don't